Hey everyone, I'm Passion and in today's video, I'm showing you guys a couple of my favorite things from January. Also, if you guys hear like any talking or a dog barking or whining, those are my neighbors. They are something. So please excuse the noise if you hear it. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. So before we get started, just some housekeeping. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I make lifestyle videos, fashion videos, and I also do vlogs every once in a while. And I post two times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So that's up your alley, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. So jumping right into my first favorite, it is this phone stand. This is perfect for taking selfies. I have fallen in love with it over the past month because you know as someone that doesn't have a photographer i take my own pictures when i do take pictures so this has been amazing and i love the fact that you can adjust the height at like three different points so you have this point right here and then you also have two more and then another great thing is that it comes with a remote that you can pair with your phone so all you have to do sync it to your phone and when you're doing the picture hide the remote or if you're just that person and you're just like i don't care if people see the remote then okay pop your phone right in here and it goes to like any height of whatever phone you have you tighten the top of it and it is in there it is secure and so then if you want to take it in portrait mode instead of landscape which is how i usually take my pictures you just unscrew right here so this little knob right here unscrew it and then you can go to the side and there you go so i absolutely love her i'm trying to get more into taking pictures just like on the whim and whenever i actually have on makeup and you know whenever i do any of my fashion videos um so this will definitely help with that and it's a really good purchase and it was not expensive at all it was on amazon and i will have that link down below whatever i mention i'll have try to have it linked down below for you guys so if you want to check it out you can so next up kind of sticking in the tech category we have this ring light right here so this ring light you can clip it onto your phone just like so so whenever you're taking a picture you have great lighting right but I actually use this for my camera. So whenever I'm vlogging, I'll clip it onto the flip out screen and I get great light whenever the lighting is just a little bizarre. And it's just like a regular ring light. So you have I think three settings. So you have this like white light, a little bit of a warmer kind of natural light. And then you have like the yellow light. So with each setting, you can actually change the brightness. There is the, like a dial at the top. Right now it's at the lowest. And then if you move it all the way, there's the highest. So great for a little selfie moment, you know, if you need better lighting. But I highly do recommend if you are a vlogger to pick this up. And if you're not a vlogger, but you find yourself in situations where you need better light whenever you are taking pictures or you're on video this is great you could also use this for zoom calls and clip it onto your laptop screen and get a little bit of better light instead of setting up a whole tripod she's worth it she is definitely worth it so these next two items are food and beverage related and when i tell you i've been obsessed i have been obsessed so this first one you know quarantine has been hard and that is when I reach for my babe rosé so babe rosé you guys I discovered this because of Lord DIY and when I tell you that these are so good so this one is the original one and it's basically just canned rosé but the kicker is that one can is equal to two glasses of wine and I tell you so good and you only need one of these they come in a pack of four they are so good. So whenever I'm like feeling stressed, like I've had a very long day, I'll just drink one of these. Um, I've even put my mom onto them. Oh my gosh. But they also just came out with this 100 calorie one and she is even 
better. Like they're both so good. But if you want to kind of like watch your calories or you know your sugar intake or anything like that, this is still a really good option. 100 calories, zero sugar. But the only thing about this one is that one of these equal just one glass of wine. So it's like, you know, a couple of like slight differences between the two. But when I tell you so good, if you're a wine drinker, you will love these. You will love them so much. Just saying. Also, perfect for bachelor nights. Perfect. Next up, I've recently gotten back into eating breakfast. I used to not really be like that huge of a breakfast person. Breakfast was not even a thing for me, but I've been getting hungrier a lot earlier these days to where like an hour or two after I wake up, I'm like, I have got to eat something. So this is where this next one comes into place. We love the plane, we love the plane. So this next item, Dave's Killer Bread, but bagels. So good, you guys. So I don't know how I was introduced to these, but I absolutely love them. I've tried the everything bagel, fantastic. The plain bagels, fantastic. And now the blueberry, you guys, oh my goodness. Like, I don't know how they do it. I don't know what they do, but it's just that good. It's like the perfect consistency, not too hard, not too soft, not too chewy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But the good thing about this brand in particular is that the bagels come jam packed with things that are good for you. So on here we have 11 grams of protein and 13 grams of whole grains. So, you know, just trying to be better about my choices that, you know, if I'm gonna have a bagel, I want it to be something that's a little bit on the healthier end. So I highly recommend these. You out of the this will become your favorite brand of bagel. I guarantee, guarantee. Next up, we have probably one of my favorite purchases that I have made in a while. And it's everything, everything. This bag right here. I know, you're probably like, she got a Louis Vuitton. No. No, I didn't, because we cannot afford Louis over here, you know, mm -mm. but we can't afford this. So this is a Daisy Rose bag and it looks just like the real thing. It's crazy. But, um, you know, a fraction of the cost, it was $50 and completely worth it. So it does come in a lot of different colors. Um, I'll have the site link down below for you guys if you want to check it out, but I decided to get it in like the standard brown checkered pattern and she's just that good. And then the inside, that's what the inside looks like. I also got the little wallet. This is also Daisy Rose. And then with the bag, it comes with this one. So, so she's quite spacious, two side pockets right here, and then the zipper pocket in the back. You guys, if you don't wanna invest in a Louis Vuitton, this is your girl right here. And you would never know the difference. The only thing that's really super different about the two is that of course Louis Vuitton is gonna say Louis Vuitton in like one of the little checkered squares. This is not because she is Daisy Rose and I have no problem telling anyone that asks me what it is because they flip out and they're just like, seriously? And I'm like, yes, let me put you on. So we love her. And lastly, you guys, my final favorite is easing into the new year. I feel like in past years, I'm always like so just like ready for the new year, hit the ground running, doing all these different things, trying to, you know, complete all my resolutions, stick to my resolutions or whatever. And then by the end of January, I'm just like, okay, you know? And so instead of putting all that pressure on myself this year, I decided to just kind of like take it slow, ease into it, kind of take note of what I really wanted to change this year and 
slowly implement those changes instead of just going full force into it because if I want it to last I have to make sure that it works for me it hasn't just been a, oh I want to wake up at 6 a.m every day so let me just January 1st wake up at 6 a.m no it has been a lot of like trial and error like what works for me what time do I need to go to sleep what schedule works for me in terms of filming YouTube videos editing and you know cleaning I really want to try to like keep my space as clean and organized as possible because I have worked really hard on decluttering as y'all have seen in the past videos. So things like that and eating healthy and you know, like what can I swap out? Just like showing you guys those bagels, a healthier version of one of my favorite foods. So easing into the new year, I have, you know, have my little hiccups there, bumps in the road, but I think that's that this has been one of my favorite new year's beginning of the year january like this has been one of my favorites for that reason of not putting so much pressure on myself and also i'm a, i'm learning that just because the clock strikes midnight and it turns into a new year doesn't mean all of the bad habits and all of the stressors go away from the past year so if you guys take anything from this video, maybe ease up on yourself a little bit if you've been if you've been a little hard on yourself and you know, just take a step back. And even right now from watching this video, you can be like, you know what? I've decided that this is going to be my new year and take a look at your goals and just be like, okay, well I can do this thing to work towards that goal. And just ride the wave from there. And you guys, that is it. Those are all of my favorites. January has been, honestly, not that bad of a month. It has been a really great month. I would love to know what you guys have been loving from the past month. Leave me a comment down below. You know I love finding new stuff. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye.